All actors, beginners and film stars, need a voice exercise to wake their voice up when it sounds tired. And I've worked with some of the world's top leading actors, listed on my website if you want to know who I mean, and this is the best voice exercise I've heard any of them do. It only takes 15 seconds, and it can be done every time you walk out of your front door, walking down an empty street, or, of course, in the corner of some room when you're waiting to go into an audition. So I'll do the exercise first, and then I'll explain how to do it, because it's going to look very strange, probably. So it lasts 15 seconds, and here we go. Ming, 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 ming. Right, now, so what did I do? There are sounds that we can do with our voice that we can continue, like the letter M. We can go M, and we can continue the letter V. But if you put your top teeth over your lower lip to do the letter V, V, and, well, if you you do that now, and you try and continue it, and you put your hand in front of your face... So just continue the letter V, please, for a few seconds. Off you go. OK, you, you probably feel very little air against your hand, because there's no air coming out. But if you, instead of putting your teeth against your lower lip, you don't leave a gap, but you only just touch your lower lip with the teeth. So you get a more open, softer V sound. V, 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 v. And you can continue it. If you take a big breath, and forgive me for saying this, but you probably know that if you want to take a deep breath, you empty your lungs first, you breathe out, and then you fill your lungs with fresh air. So take a decent breath anyway, and continue this V sound on its own, please. Off you go. Now, when you get used to doing it, you'll feel your lips vibrate, your ears vibrate, and your throat and your neck and various parts of your face will vibrate a little and you may shiver for a few seconds. So you'll know it's it's happening and this sound can also be done with the letter B. Instead of closing your lips when you say the letter B, it's possible to do the letter B with the mouth only just touching the, the two lips. So instead of big and best, we say big and best. B, 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 b. So if you just for a few seconds now, please just practice doing the b, the slightly more open b sound, not clenching your lips together for the b, and take a decent breath and continue it reasonably loudly. So just the continuous b sound. B, off you go. Okay, now in a few seconds, up on the wall, it's going to say, breathe, eight seconds, and it'll have lots of Vs, so the V sound, breathe, eight seconds, like that. And after eight seconds of it, and if you run out of breath, just take another breath and carry on doing the V sound, after eight seconds, it'll say, stop, breathe, pressing the letter P against the letter R. And let's just do that sound on its own for a moment now, please. So you can do it on one note, or up and down. Off you go. And after three seconds of that, and the seconds will show on the screen, it will say, stop, breathe, ming. And you say this strange word, slightly falsetto, and feel it waking your face up. Ming, 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 ming. Feel it in your forehead, in your cheekbones, in your ears. So that's the exercise, the V sound, which makes it easier to do the prrrr sound, and then this opening of the sounds more with ming on the end. So, off you go. In a moment, I'll, that will appear on the screen to say, breathe, v. Eight seconds. Okay, here we go. (laughs) 
Right, now I'd like you please to just stop all that and just on your own count out loud from one to ten and listen to the sound of your voice. Does it sound more open? Does it feel more clear? Maybe you need to do it more. Anyway, that's the exercise. Now I know, I know, I do know that what matters, what's important, what makes a difference for actors, what makes some actors stand out, is that they understand what their lines are about, that they know what's behind their lines. And if you don't speak clearly, they won't be able to hear the lines. They'll be watching you with subtitles. They won't see your face. And directors will be asking you to do retakes because they didn't hear you clearly. You don't want to be doing retakes for that reason. So just getting into a habit of doing a few voice exercises could be worthwhile. And there are a couple more voice exercises. One lasts 30 seconds. One takes five minutes. They're in part two of this, if you want to watch those. And I'll now put this exercise back up on the wall so that those of you who need reminding of what exactly you do and don't want to watch through the whole video in order to get to that point can just switch to the last few seconds of this and see it up here on the wall. So here it's going to start with the breathe, eight seconds, then switch to the and then the ming sound. Here we go. Okay, thank you for watching.